Hello scholars, welcome back to the channel. What we're looking at today is how to identify the mode. Now, we did three, we have done two other videos on the three basic principles in statistics of organizing population, the mean, the mode, and the median. So this video is about the mode. You can check the other two videos if you want to get information on the mean and the median. So what is the mode? The definition says the mode of a set of numbers is the most frequently occurring one, or the one that occurs the most, right? The one that you see. So in a list of numbers or items, the one that appears the most is the mode. Now note, there can be no mode so you can have a list of numbers and there is none that is recurring. There is none that keeps repeating itself. As well as you can have more than one mode. So you can have more than one numbers that are repeating at the same frequency. So typically speaking, the, the mode is the number that you're seeing most often from the set. It stands out from the others. You're seeing it more often listed. However, you might have two numbers that have the same number of listings, or you might have three numbers that have the same number of listings. There's no limit as to how many numbers can be the mode. Once they have the same number, and that's the highest compared to the others in the list, you might have two or three modes, as well as you might have no mode for that particular list. Maybe the numbers are just all listed once, right, so are all listed, well, no, if they're all listed the same amount, well, we would say all of those in that category would be the mode together, right? So if they're all listed just once, in that sense, there would be no mode. So let's look at the list that we have, I've put several lists. I know it looks crowded, but I did this so that we can get lots of practice. Practice makes perfect. So, yes, I know you're looking at it and it looks like this big ocean of numbers, but we are mathematicians, we are scholars, we are not scared of oceans of numbers, right? So we are going to go through the list, one list, one at a time, one series at a time. Now, let us start with A. Okay, so we have 3, 5, 2, 7, 3, 8, 3, 3, 9. Which number pops out at you? Which number is saying, here I am, I'm the most frequently listed one over here? Which number is saying that? The three, because there are four threes. The other numbers are just there. We just have 1, 5, 1, 2, 1, 7, 1, 8, 1, 9, and 4 threes. The instruction said underline the mode in each set of numbers. So I'm just going to underline whichever number we identify as the mode. I'm just going to underline one of the numbers, right? So I'm not going to underline all of the threes. So we're saying that the three is the mode from this set because there are four threes and the other numbers just have one of each. B, 27, 14, 10, 27, 3, 27, 14. Which number pops out at you waving? Here I am. I'm the most frequent one. Look at me. 27 because there are one, two, three, 27. The 14 is trying to make itself, you know, up there, but it's only two of the 14s. We would need one more 14 to complement the 27 because there are three 27s. So even though the 14 is trying to be up there, the 27 is the mode because it is there three times. The 14 is only listed twice. For C, 15, 9, 0, 4, 3, 0, 1, 0, 7, 0. Which number is popping out at you? 
the zero. How many zeros are there? One, two, three, four zeros. All the other numbers, there's just one. So the mode from this set is zero. Let's look at D. 10 centimeters, 4 centimeters, 8 centimeters, 11 centimeters, 10 centimeters. Which one is repeating? The 10. 10 centimeters. Even though it's just two of them, it's still more than the others because the others are just listed once. So even though the 10 is just listed twice, it is still the mode. Right? So you just need to be one more than the, the next best, and you are the champion. Right? So the 10 is the champion, even though it's just two 10s. Two years, six years, six years, two years, 10 years. Mm, this one is interesting. What do you find interesting about E? Two years, six years, six years, two years, ten years. Do you see that two of the quantities are repeated? This, the two years is repeated. The six years is repeated. So there are two two years and two six years. So remember, we were already told to take note that there can be more than one mode. So since we find out that there are two two years and there are two six years, we know that there are two modes in this set. The two years and the six years. Both of them are the mode. Now F, 19 meters, 4 meters, 5 meters, 5 meters, 5 meters, 5 meters. We don't even have to think about this one. We don't even have to think about this one. We see clearly that five meters is the mode. There are four of them and only one of the four meters and one of the 19 meters. Five is a clear champion. This is like, it's, it's like a mile ahead of the other two if it was a race, right? G, 16, 25, 16, 30, 32, 8, 16, 25, 16. So I'm seeing where there are several 16s and there are several 25s. Are they the same number though? So let's see. How many 16s? We have 1, 2, 3, 4. How many 25s? We have 1, 2. Okay. So the 25 is trying. It's trying, you know. But the 16 is saying, look here, I am the champion. I have four and you only have two. So I am the mode. That's what the 16 is saying. I am the champion in this race. You can't beat me. That's what the 16 is saying. Let's look at age. 18, 20, 19, 10. 18, 19, 18, 30. All right, so we have another hot race in this one between the 18 and the 19. Do you see that? So we have to go in closely now. You know, when you're having a sprint and two of the, the, the athletes are very close and they have to zero in and see neck and neck who is, who is who is the one coming out on top so for the 18 and the 19 that's what we're going to have to do right now we're going to zero in and count because they look pretty close to me so let's see one two three 18s how many 19s one two okay so it's a not it's similar to the which one was it? The 16 and the 25. It's a similar thing. So we have three 18s and only two 19. So the 19 will have to settle for second place. The 18 is the mode because there are three of them. All right, let's look at I. We have 6, 2, 6.5, 3, 6.25, 7, 8. Hmm. 
Are you seeing any number repeating itself here? Let's see. 6, 2, 6.5, 3, 6.25, 7, 8. Nobody is repeating itself, so there is no mode. Double check with me because we don't want to call it and then we look again and see. So, yeah, there is no mode for this one, so we're going to put no. There is no mode. None for I. Alright, so for J, we have 19 kilometers, 4 kilometers, 8 kilometers, and 8 kilometers. Alright, so even though there are just two 8 kilometers, it's still the mode because the others have just one. Two is more than one. Eight kilometers is the mode. For K, we have seven, three, seven, six, five, ten, nine, two, and ten. I think I see a tie. Do you see a tie between two of those numbers? I see I see two sevens. And I'm also seeing two tens, right? Do you see that? So the seven and the ten are modes for this set. Two modes we have, the seven and the ten. The two of them have two occurrences. For L, or let's see for L. We have three, thirteen, thirty-three, thirteen, four, five, and eight. So it looks as if it's the 13, there are two of them and only one of the others. So the 13 is the mode for this set. For M, we have 1, 0, 3, 7, 0, 5, 6, 2. It looks like it's the 0. The 0 is the most frequent one. There are two zeros and only one of the others. So. The zero is the most frequent one. So zero is making its representation here, right? You know I'm always talking about the zeros. I'm very proud of my zeros. So I'm glad to see the zero represented. Oh, here we had a zero too, being the mode. All right, so the zero is representing. All right, so N, 25, 3, 8, 25, 8, 10, 11, 10. Hmm. This one looks really, really. This one, I think we have three modes for this one, don't you think? We have two 25s, we have two 8s, and we have two 10s. So we're going to have to say the 8 is the mode, 25 is the mode, 10 is the mode. They are, both, they are all occurring twice. We have two tens, two eights, two twenty-fives. And we remember that it says there can be more than one modes. So you don't have to be scratching your head to say, Oh my God, but all of these have the same number of occurrences. What am I going to do? Don't be a drama queen. We are already told that we can have more than one. There's room for more than one modes, okay? All right, so for O, 9, 6, 3, 5, 8, 5, 6, 12, 5. So 5 looks like the clear winner here because there are, five, there are three fives. Ah, uh, well, there are two sixes, but... Two sixes, but there are three fives. So, yes, five is the winner here. Five is the champion. Five is the mode. Okay, so now for P, 2.5, 1.3, 9, 2.5, Clearly, it's 2.5. We heard that being repeated. You know, you could hear it. 2.5, that, 2.5, that, 2.5. So, it's 2.5 because there are three of them and only one of the others. 
All right, so we're going, we're, we're getting down there, we're getting to the end. So Q, 16, 32, 14, 19, 32, 32, 30. Which one is popping out at you? You could hear it while I'm calling it. 32, 32, 32. So we know that 32 is the mode. There are three 32s and only one of the other numbers. For R, we have seven, two and a half, four, nine, two and a half, fourteen. So two and a half is the mode because there are two of them, only one of the others. And for S, we have three, nine, four, nine, seven, six, one, ten. All right, so there are two nines, so nine is the mode there. All the other numbers are represented just once. Their frequency is one. And then the frequency of the nine is two. There are two nines. All right, so to recap, let us read the definition again. The mode of a set of numbers is the most frequently occurring or the one that occurs the most, the one that you see the most, the one that pops out at you. Or if you're listening to them being read, you just keep hearing this number being repeated above the others. That is the mode. That is the mode. And a set of numbers can be listed and there is no mode. There is just no number that is more frequent than the others. They are all listed once. As well as you can have more than one mode, more than two modes. The important thing is to identify the one number or the several numbers that have the most frequency. That's the idea of the mode. Alright, so if you have been helped by the video, which I'm, I'm very hopeful that you have been helped, I would appreciate it if you would comment to say thank you miss for sharing this information to me. And I would love for you to share the video to your friends, your classmates, your neighbors, anybody whom you think that the video can benefit just as you benefited from it allow other persons to gain the knowledge so that we can lose the fear of math. Too many people are afraid of math. They are deathly scared of math. So we need to remove that fear. The more persons you share this with, the more we will reduce until we eliminate the fear of math. There's no reason to be afraid of math. Alright, so if you have not yet subscribed, please do so now so that you can benefit from other videos. And my beloved scholars, I will see you in the next video.